What's going on? A lot of fish and TV. We are here with all the catfish conference goodies. Yes. There's nothing wrong with a lot of fishing. Before we go any farther, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. All right, so listen. First and foremost, Catfish Conference 2022 was by far the most epic, the most talked about, the most anticipated. I cannot tell you how much fun I had. There's no words that can really explain that adventure. It was off the chain. But look at all this stuff we got. It may seem all dramatic and a lot. It's not as much as you think, but it's enough for me because I pretty much picked up a lot of things that I thought was more intriguing than less. Let's get down. Let's break this stuff down, man. Let's talk about everything we got. Now, everybody know how tough it is to just hold back and try their best not to spend money. It is extremely hard. A lot of people that like to come to the Catfish Conference for the two days, um, the first day is more about mingling. The next day is about what are we going to buy? For me, it's about mingling and figuring out what I'm going to buy both days. But most cases, we are buying out everything that Saturday or the second day, whichever day it may be. And here's what I got. Like, once again, before I get farther, thank you everybody for all the birthday wishes. Man, you guys did a lot. You blessed me. I appreciate all you guys out there, man. Thank you. So look, I'm gonna just go start off with this. It's a Asian carp bait that's packaged, preserved, and scented with all types of different things, man, to get out there and fish with. I thought this was intriguing to me. What's the what's a better way than to just package it and have it ready for people to fish with? I think this is a good idea. I think this is a good market. Um, right here I have the anise flavor, and then I have garlic flavor, which garlic is probably the most sought for flavor they told me. I just think this is a very, very, very good idea, and I think people should try, give it a try, and I was intrigued, so that's why I got this. One of the toughest manufactured catfish baits, more so in the family of your dope baits, you know, your dip baits, and you know, just little things like that, and fiber nuggets, it's all in that kind of family. And uh, right here is called Bloody Skipjack. I believe this might be a newer flavor, if I'm not mistaken. But it's all made out of all natural stuff. You ain't got to worry about it uh, killing the water or doing anything foul. It's all natural stuff, amino acids, all types of good, good old things and stuff like that that really uh, helps make create a scent trail for catfish and stuff like that. And um, I always represented them, man. I, I, I like the idea of them. So we have a package right here. These are not your ordinary cups right here. I'm gonna open this up so you can see why I got this. These are your monster rile holder cups right here. This is no joke. That is fire. Shout out to Steve Douglas and the monster rile holder family made in the USA. You already know what it is, big Fred coffee cups. I'm a coffee man and that's what matters. Steve Douglas did his job with this. These cups are fire and that's why I had to get it. Matter of fact, my girl got it. Next product. Here we have us some reels. Everybody knows about the Abu Garcia reels. Here you go. These are the C3 6500s right there. Kablam Bang Booey. I wanna give a super shout out to Bluff City Outdoors, right? Bluff City Outdoors, I wanna give a super duper stupendous shout out. They really looked out. This, hey, I love them peoples, man. They really, 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 really blessed the guy, man. I love you guys, man. Thank you for that, man. Appreciate all the love. And I got me something very cool. Something very cool. Super scale. Let's show y'all how this works here. So what you do, you take the handles out, bam. Take the what's aim in the back of the hook and that you weigh the fish up with, or look at that. Or you can have it on a machine, something, I don't know. Another hook that can sit on a bigger machine. But listen, 
Turn the light on. Look at that illumination right there. Stop playing with the illumination right there. And I could just hold my fish like this and with all the extra hassle of, I could do that too. But look at that. That's fire, man. Look at this, 110 pound scale, look at that. Let's do it, baby. <laughs> look, I know how easy it is to sit up there and make a big deal about I don't need nothing. I got everything I need. Don't get on the phone talking to me about what you wanted and it was there at the catfish conference. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it. Nope, leave me alone. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So whenever you do have the Apple Garcias, uh, you kind of come with those smaller handles if they don't already have the power handles. If they do come with the regular handles like the classic 6500 C3 reel, um, you got to get your power handles. You cannot not have the power handles. So I will be putting the power handles on my 6500 reels right here as you can see. Got to have the power handles. I will be putting these on this. So they had them and they had tons of them. I'm telling you now, they even have some cooler ones too, some super carbon fiber uh, power handles that had the two big old uh, knobs and stuff so you could have more real control. I love that, I love that idea. All right, so, Bottle Bobbers is probably one of the more intriguing items I've bought. Matter of fact, I probably wanted these more than I wanted anything that I have on here. Um, because I think this is what you call innovative. And it also is a mechanism to use bottles that you find outside, like water bottles and stuff like this. This right here also is a way to keep your banks clean, believe it or not. This can motivate bank cleaning, you know, environments. Cause like I can use a water, like let's say if I like, dang, I didn't bring my bobbers. Or let's just say if you do, have these and you be like, you know what, there's a lot of trash in my fishing spot, let me just collect all the bottles and I can just use them as bobbers and these are one of those things that you can use at a bobber. Now I am going to show you guys how to use this in the near future, so be looking for a, a review coming soon. Monster rod holder, bank rod holder, let's show you guys. And shout out to Steve Douglas and the Monster Rod Holder family, 1,000%. Some of the best people in the entire world. The whole team is fire. Seriously. All right. So this is how this works, right? We're going to actually screw this in right now. So let's take that, take that balloon off right there. Look at that. So you screw it on the post. Screw it on the post. And Lord, please let's not have no mistakes in dropping product. There we go. And then you would take the boat right here and you would screw it on the bottom. So in other words, it is easy to install, just like that. And they have a mechanism. Let's show you this guy. Here is a post right here that you can kick into the ground. That way you got more power to drive these stakes right here, which is three stakes. It's one, two, and three into the ground so you can have support and you won't worry about your rod holder just flapping and swinging all over the place. Demon dragons or rattles or whatever you want to call them. Um, I do find them important sometimes. I don't use them a lot and it just all depends on water conditions and how the fish are feeding. Um, which is another reason why I didn't buy as many, but that's why I do have these. Um, I really like using these, especially um, in shallow water for some reason. I just think it's, it, I don't know, just raw fish. Every, 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 every application is different. Um, some people use these in deep water, but it just depends on where you fish, how you fish and what you fishing for. But that's why I got these, I mean, I don't think they super important to have, not in my tackle box, but I do know a lot of people run to Demon Dragons and things of that nature so that it can help them with their experience fishing. We also have a bunch of stickers. Uh, the 
stickers. Um, I think it's very important that if you go to the Catfish Conference, um, brand yourself. I mean, let's say if you don't have much of anything like merch, at least make cards, at least make stickers. Um, those things really help getting your name out there. It's one of those things where the more people have a sticker, the more chances you may get somebody to look into your page or your content or whatever else you're trying to promote. So I had a lot of fishing TV banner as you can see right here. Um, this banner right here was for me to take pictures with. So that as many pictures as I have and people don't know me, other people may see this logo on their page and ask who is that guy. So yeah, if you come to the Catfish Conference, man, there's always room to promote yourself, man. Especially if you're not really selling anything, you can still get your name out there. So stickers are very important. So I collected a lot of people's stickers and cards and all types of stuff, all types of goodies that really help with getting everybody out there, man, and getting where we want to know. So we also have uh, some uh, hooks right here. These are the Catfish Pro hooks, and I must say I really like the way they look. Got a lot of space in between the barb and the tip of the hook. Um, well, a lot of space between the barb and the shank of the hook. And these 9 out hooks really remind me of maybe like an 11 out hook. So that's something to look into. They do have some extremely sharp hooks and they get the job done. We have some shirts right here, by the way. We have a Big Vix bait netting shirt. Sweet Doggy Has Life shirt. A Paul Metals Cat shirt. Kevin Lakin, shout out man for the shirt, man. I appreciate that. Well, a couple more things and this just be done and over with, man. So we can get out of this beautiful Airbnb that we are in. <laughs> okay, so here we have some Chubby Fish line rattles. Now, I do like line rattles. I like them a lot. I think they kind of help with the vibration sounds and stuff like that. They kind of intrigue the fish on where is that noise coming from, especially if there's bait on the end of that hook with one of these right there. Um, I do use these a lot more than I would the Demon Dragons. Although the Demon Dragons are totally different, they actually help float the bait. So it's two different mechanisms behind it. One just rattle while the other one floats and rattle. So, we definitely got us some of those. And here we go. We also bought us some rods, some warrior cap rods. And this rod specifically is a seven foot six medium heavy black hat by warrior cat. I bought two of these specifically. And these rods right here had, these rods right here have a fast um, action and in other words, they really good for circle hooks pretty much only designed for circle hooks for that nice action right there at the tip of it um, and we bought two black ones and we also have us a pink We also have us a pink one. It's called lady warrior. I Got this one for my girl right here as you can see it's pink lady warrior and she bought her a spinning reel for it so that one of these days, hopefully, she'll be able to fish with me. And she got her a fin or spinning reel to help her catch fish with me. Let's look at this. Look at that. Smooth reel, fin, nor let's look at the uh let's look at some of the west names to this um so the capacity is 240 yards for 20 pound test and then you have a gear ratio well, well technically she has the, the the 60 so it's uh 240 yards for 14 pound line and it has a five uh oh it has a five ball bearings four plus a clutch there you go all right, y'all. Y'all already know what it is, man. That's all the goodies I got, bro. Um, 
See my fishing buddies right here. Look at that, my fish buddies. Say hello, say hello. But y'all already know what it is, man. Like I always say, there's nothing wrong with a lot of fishing. I'll see y'all next time. And oh yeah, the Catfish Conference video will be coming soon. Hey, looking for more content? Well, please subscribe. Also like us on Facebook. And always remember, there's nothing wrong with a lot of fishing. Thank you for watching.